First we'll explore mass tones and tints. Set up your work area using the diagram from our class page. We want to apply some full strength color, but watercolor right out of the tube is difficult to handle, so we'll dilute it just until it's no longer sticky. Apply a short stroke of full strength color, then rinse your brush and dilute the color some more and continue with the diluted color. Our goal is to get a stripe that shows the color all the way from straight out of the tube, which is called the mass tone, to a very pale wash. Pale washes are sometimes called tints. You finish with clear water and then use your brush to soak up any excess water. You'll get a good idea of the range of color that you can produce with this pigment. Now repeat with each of your colors. Here I'm using a flat brush, but if you have a round brush, don't feel you have to make rectangles. Any shaped strip will do. You may have burnt sienna or burnt umber in your set of colors. I'll do a strip of each one so that we can compare them. When you add colors to your palette, do this exercise for them too and save the cards as a reference until you know the colors really well. Next we'll explore whether our colors are staining or non-staining colors. Have a tissue ready in your hand while you do this exercise. Using a flat brush or your angle shader, apply a thin line of clear water down the center of one of the dry strips of pigment that you already painted. Immediately blot and you'll see that some of the color is lifted off. Repeat again with more clear water and you can gently agitate the surface to loosen the paint and lift more. Be sure to blot right away before the pigment has a chance to soak down into the paper fibers. As you can see, the colors we're using in Watercolor Jumpstart are fairly non-staining colors. Next we'll explore how transparent or opaque our colors might be. First we need to paint a rectangle with waterproof black ink such as Sumi ink or India ink. Use plenty of ink so that your rectangle is nice and dark. When the ink is completely dry, turn it sideways and paint a stripe of each color across it. You'll notice when the colors are wet, the pigment floats on the surface of the water and makes them appear a bit more opaque than they'll be when they dry. So don't judge transparency until after the color is dry. As you can see, the colors we're using are fairly transparent. For comparison, here are some other colors. Be sure to do this test when you add new colors to your palette so you'll know what to expect from your colors while you're painting.